Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ Envy, Angela Yee, Charlamagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. We got a special guest in the building. Yes, sir. Probably seen him on the shot. Barton Fitzpatrick. Welcome back, sir. Um, Thank you, everybody, for having me. How uh, are you this morning, I'm, my brother? I'm doing wonderful. I'm doing wonderful. How has the shot changed your life, sir? Drastically. More DMs? <laughs> more and more DMs every yeah. day. Uh, more and more followers. I appreciate all is the love. Is that all you care about? The DMs? Yeah, is that all you care about? I'm going to start off talking about that. that. What about he's the opportunities? He's an artist. He's a musician. Absolutely. He's a video yes. vixen. No, yeah, no, we yeah. can talk about that for sure. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Um, you call him a video vixen? He is a I mean, video vixen. Are we talking about as far as women? Yeah, well, just in general. Just shy, in general. Everything. I mean, like, you know, after episode three, I couldn't walk down the street without getting stopped. And, you know, people wanted to put me on their Instagrams, take pictures, you know. So it's, yeah. Every time it happens, it's just a it's a new thing. It's something that I never I pray to hope to never get used to. I was I so concerned you. about you last season because I was like, are they gonna off red? Yeah, but then I see I you. that you move from being a guest actor to being one of the main actors. Series on regular, absolutely. Regular. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, Different type of check. Large check, larger check, yeah, much yeah. larger check. Absolutely. Shout out, um, Fox mm-hmm. Twenty One. Showtime. Let me ask you this. When they do these series, is it always the plan? Like, they know what's going to happen with you in season two? Or do they figure that out? Like, Yeah, they, they, um, see... they get to the writer's room and just develop the characters. Um, mm-hmm. Figure out where they want to um, have their storylines going. A story arc. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So did you know yeah, your so... character would grow and still be in season two? Or were you no, not it's sure? actually it's just like a job. Like, you get the script and you never know. You just show up. Like, you got to be how it's, people it's... like you, too. How, how people take you on camera. Absolutely. Like, your fans Absolutely. and all that. For sure, especially the writers though. Once the once the writers become you know big fans of you, they just they make sure that they write special stuff for your character. Mm. You know what I mean? They take good care of you and add a lot of fun stuff. You know, might might be some intimate scenes. You know, so you make sure and, you take care of the writers. Absolutely. Oh, you're gonna have some love scenes. Um, you might see Rich with his shirt off again. Okay. Absolutely. You <laughs> might. You <laughs> might. You might. Hey. I saw I saw you shitting on your exes on Twitter too, man. <laughs> Why did you feel the need to do that? Um, what did he do? Tell us. What happened? Yeah, what happened? What you see? When you said, uh, I got the tweet right here. You said, uh, I'm sure it's hard for them. To know. None of my exes could ever reach out to me because they're all blocked on all social media Damn. platforms. Tell that girl she can't see me unless she turns on her TV. Subscribe wow. to Showtime. That's your best bet. Ooh, I'm cold. sure it's hard for them to watch the shy. They mamas be calling them like, girl, you got to be the dumbest child I raised. You feeling God. yourself, man. <laughs> you feeling yourself, <laughs> Damn, bro. Damn, boy. I always you wanted to like make it in comedy. Before, I always wanted to make it in comedy. You know, don't don't take <laughs> that. That didn't sound don't, like a joke. That, that sounded real. No, that <laughs> sounded very personal. You stabbed That sounded somebody. directly to somebody. Absolutely. Nah, nah, it wasn't like that. I was just being silly. Um, you also just had a, a, no shout outs. a birthday. Did any of your exes get invited to your birthday party? Um, one of my exes actually was present at my birthday party. He didn't say she was invited, yeah. though. He didn't I didn't say she was invited. invited, but she was there. She was present. Is she um, blocked? She wasn't in the section, but um, oh. <laughs> hey, but she was there. Hey. 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 <laughs> so was, she, was she trying to get that old thing back? Um, yeah, she was. She was up waiting. She was up waiting. Did you at least buy a drink? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. A, she a was pour a drink from your line. bottle. She was just, she, sitting, just looking at waiting. She was up waiting, hoping that I came home with her. But you know, it's a plethora of other women who was hoping Yo, the same thing. And, right. you know, oh my god! Um, Did you pour a drink from your bottle at least? Did no, you not, a glass at all, of not at all. Not at all. Not at all. You know, it's like. <laughs> Hey, you still no, like it's, it's all love, though. I'm just playing. No, I'm it's just... not. Clearly, it's not all love. <laughs> it's not all love, but yeah, it's all good. Let me just say that. Okay. It's all good. You know? You're good. Did you speak to her at least? Yeah, for sure. Like, speak to her or just gave her, like, a what up? I feel like we're bit. talking about her a little, bit, a little bit too much, to be honest, but yes, I did speak. <laughs> Clown her, yeah. But, anyways, uh, yeah. Did, 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 has, has any of those women ever sent you a text like, you really feeling yourself now, huh? Absolutely. Motherfuckers <laughs> going Hollywood. Okay, motherfuckers going Hollywood. You think because you were 50 Cent, that means something like, yeah, it does. <laughs> <It does. laughs> so how hard is it for you to date now like is it hard for you to find somebody that you feel like okay yeah, it's a lot of creeps out there Bart. you know it's a lot of creeps you know um you never know what's genuine you know um it's a lot of people who when they approach me they'll make it seem like oh that is you when really they i just it. saw they you over there googling beginning. me like yeah. 15 minutes yeah. ago you, you know what i'm saying it's just you know so no, i ain't gonna say it's hard but i'm not on that right now i'm just enjoying myself and mm-hmm. Living life, you know, staying was it, focused. Was it easier to tape this season or tougher? Um, it was easy, to be honest. Yeah, the the only um challenge I would say is um, you know, it was a whole different, whole different team, mm-hmm. a whole new, new, a whole different um production team, mm. different writers room. Lena, Lena got what she wanted in all black writers room. Um, congratulations wow. to Lena on that. Amazing. Absolutely, uh, salute to Lena. Salute to Lena. Um, but yeah, so just just working with a different team. Um. Who made they saw the shy going in a different direction than the previous 
producers and the people who I worked with. So it was kind of like, oh, okay, let me just take a step back and try to um, just separate myself from as being from Chicago and just an, as an actor. And Lena also told me that, you know what I mean? Because sometimes I'll read the script and be like, that's not what's going on. Like, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you know, these these writers are professionally trained and they're telling great stories. And I have to, you know, just take a step back and let them do their jobs and you know, deliver for them. But you kind of need that Chicago realness, you do, though, you right? Do. I, I agree 100%. Like, I feel like I need to be in the writer's room, to yeah. be honest, you know what I'm saying? And hopefully one day I get that opportunity. Absolutely. You know, but all of the writers, like Joe Wilson, David Shanks, you know, my boys, like, they take great care of me. They're very open to all of my ideas, and, you know, we homies. So it's, yeah, it's, it was a working project. Representation, project. representation matters even from a geographical perspective. Indeed. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, you want people from there to feel like this is really Chicago. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, and now I feel like that's my job, being mm-hmm. especially being promoted, and now I have, like, more input. You know, I'm obviously somewhat here to stay mm-hmm. for now, you know. So, for now, you never know. You know, you never know, but, <laughs> um, but yeah, so... I try to do as much as I can to help out. Cause I, I mean, love the first season of The Shot, and I'm looking forward to season two, but I'm not going to lie, wait. the season two promo pissed me off. What? what? <laughs> it's playing Meek Mill. Oh, Meek, so, had, Meek from Philly. That's so funny. I deleted the comment that said that, like, why we ain't playing that, that Chance or something. I'm just like, man, just, just, say, just, just say, like, 100. Like, it looked like it's going to be fire. Like, why y'all worried about it that? Did, but but I, it did, it threw me off, I, like... I, I, Chicago's a unique city, man. It is. I feel that. Mm-hmm. But you know, like Meek Mill, like first this of all, that's my homie. With... Like I love Meek Mill. Yeah, like me you know too, what I'm saying? But... That's my idol. So I idolize Meek. But and then it's actually like my my part in the promo slow mo. Like it was a slow mo to his look to Meek Mill's part. It was yeah. like special. Like I feel like they you know did that specifically for my character. You know, so for me and Meek. But a lot of people was like, yeah, why y'all don't have like Chance or Vic or da da da. You know what I'm saying? But they gon' they all in it though. Like y'all gonna yeah. still hear all Chicago artists in the soundtrack. So mm-hmm. you know that was just a promo. How's That's- moving around Chicago now? That everybody knows who you are. Do you still move around? I say downtown. Um, <laughs> <laughs> my um, ID says North now. I used to say South. Okay. If the party says South, I'm usually not gonna attend it. But you know. Nah, it's cool though. I love th- throughout the whole city. Shout out Chicago. I love them with all you ever my been heart. You to the twenty four hour subway at two in the morning? <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You ever well, got attacked? Out there? You said what? You ever got attacked? No, no, no. Never, never got attacked. Oh, okay. Nobody ever. I did. mean, you mean like as as like? like and he did two Nigerians. Like two about Nigerians Jesse jump on you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, two Nigerians ever jump on you? Talk about that. At subway at two in the morning. Hey, listen, listen. He was like, yeah, I like subway. Eat fresh. I saw, I saw the article. And it messed my head up, cause I did an episode with one of those guys. Really, on Chicago PD. So wow, that messed my head up immediately, cause I'm like, I was feeling, you know, I'm feeling sorry, like, man, that's messed up. What happened? Like, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of people just like, I don't know, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know if it's real or not. And once I saw the article and saw the pictures of the guys who allegedly did it, I was just like, oh damn, damn, man. <laughs> like, damn, those Something's are two actors, on. like, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But um, being from Chicago, when you heard that story, did you believe it initially? No, not at all. Mm. At all. He's like that ain't what the shy about. Mm-mm. No, that's not that's not what's going on. No. Mm-hmm. Not at all. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. You guys have a lot going on in Chicago right now, though. A whole lot. Mm-hmm. You ever been? You ever seen um R. Kelly at McDonald's? <laughs> my, cousin did. Well, my cousin did. My cousin FaceTime me. My cousin had FaceTime me. Yeah, yeah. He's like, always in so McDonald's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He, he the, the rock and roll at McDonald's. Yeah, for sure. Really? And he's like, yeah, look where I'm like, he's oh, always there. <laughs> I can say he always there, but yeah, like. You ever seen him outside your school, like growing up? Never. Never. And I went to Kenwood. We went to, but not that me, and, me and R. Kelly went to the same high school. I never saw him outside of Kenwood after hours. Really? Like, no. After school, none of that. None of that funny <laughs> yeah. business. No. And I, you know, I met R. Kelly. He was cool. Now, did you... Where'd you meet him? Um, at, uh, <laughs> at Big Jam backstage. Big Jam. At WGCI. Yeah, 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 Big Jam. Oh, Big Chicago. Jam. Okay. Concert. So, yeah, that's hard for people, though, because now you're looking at him and you're like, can you listen to R. Kelly music anymore? Me? Yes. You Seven bark. o'clock in the morning, and the rain's from the sun makes me. Oh. Yeah, because it's, 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 it's different. You're from Chicago, so it's <laughs> hey, in your DNA. Hey, listen, yeah. man, hey. What if you um, wanted to do a song with you? If you want to do a song with me, mm-hmm. I'll have to talk to my team, private stock, private stock. We hey, have to um, hey, discuss. Hey, hey, uh, nigga, no. Okay, you ain't got to talk to your team, but <laughs> no. nigga, no. All we right. wouldn't let you do it. <laughs> we, we wouldn't let you do nah, it. No, no, no. Nah, no, nah, I don't think it's, it's the. I don't know. There no. you go. Okay. But I would have a conversation with him, and yeah, we can converse for sure. Mm-hmm. And I would tell him I'm a big fan of his work, but even now you would say that to him. 
You already said it on camera. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to yes. give you a chance to clean it up. Yes, I would. Yes, yes, I would. He could be a fan of the work. I could be, yeah, I'm, I'm a fan of his work. Yeah. Like, yeah, He's an artist at the end of the day. He's know? a dope musician. It, absolutely. Yeah. Would you take a picture with him for the gram and post it? I, I don't know about all of that. Yeah, I don't yeah. know about all of that. I don't know if I would do that. But maybe. We not. It's getting awkward, huh? <laughs> but, um, <laughs> would you play in an R. Kelly movie? In an R. Kelly movie? Would you play a young R. Kelly? <laughs> I knew that they were going to do this the second time around. I knew it. You know I knew it. I was prepared. I was prepared. What can we expect from the shy season two? Man? Um, more grittiness. Um, great. Um, greater some, stories. Greater some stories. New jewelry too. You getting some bread, bro? Yeah, I saw you in the club. I'm just like, man, yeah, like, yeah, look that, at that, that, that bracelet ain't light, man. Let me ask I'm you this. I'm blessed and grateful. Shout out to Showtime. How hard was it for you to do that scene where you got beat up so badly in the house? What was that like? It was fun, actually. It was um, fun? They, they, tried to, <laughs> they tried to get my stunt double to um to do that. And I'm just like, no, nah, you won't be working today. Like, no, nah, I want to do this. Like, mm -hmm. I, I embraced it. You know? So did you, you got, you were really for real getting... No, nah, you just, you know, pantomime and mm -hmm. do all of that. The stunt coordinator is there to make sure he doesn't actually hit me in my face, you know. But it was fun. It was cool. It was tough to watch more than anything. Really? Like, yeah, I'm just, I didn't like seeing myself like that. Yeah. No. I feel like the shy didn't get the critical acclaim it should have. Like, I'm talking about like when award season stuff came around. Not, not like I, I give a damn about awards. I don't no, feel like yeah, we need that course. validation. But I just feel like it didn't get that. Well, you know, um, the Emmys, not, it's, it's not um, until like the, the middle and ending of the year. Mm hmm we um, have to show in January, and so sometimes shows get overlooked. So People I feel like that's it, yeah. why we pushed it back to April. Oh, okay, okay. To make sure that stuff like that doesn't happen, and mm -hmm. we'll get that, you know, we'll become critically acclaimed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I'm very nervous for your little brother on the series, too. Everybody is. I'm Everybody so scared, because I'm like, please don't shout let out, anything Shout out Mikey, to... my little bro. Yeah. His name is Jake on the show? <laughs> yeah, Jake, yeah. young Jake. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm nervous that something's going to happen to him, because he's going down the wrong path, he's looking up to you, but... I mean, Anything Rez could is a soldier. happen to him as well. Rez is a soldier. You know what I'm saying? So at the same time, he's always going to protect his little he's brother. He's going to try, but if he's not around and his little brother's in school and he's running around doing stuff that Rez don't even know about. Damn, and Rez I'm... is also, as, <laughs> as you protect yeah. your little brother, you're also putting him in dangerous situations. Indeed. I am. Um... Yeah, it's... He's like, I can't tell you anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, I mean, yeah, it's... You just have to hope for the best. That's mm -hmm. that's really all I can say. Pray but, for um, Jake. Reg is gonna do everything he can for his little brother. I will say that. How much that of Reg is really you? Because I mean, you know, you you are floating around the city of Chicago. It yeah. Is, a lot of times, you know, having a pistol on you isn't a matter of trying to be tough. It's a matter of survival. Yeah. I mean, well, you know, and you can also get your concealed carry um, yeah. in the state of Illinois now. Um, so. You can. Absolutely. Oh shoot. <laughs> well, yeah. If you didn't know that, yeah, go and get your concealed carry. You let, so he letting everybody know. <laughs> try, me. try me <laughs> no, stop it, stop it. Um, but um, on another note though I, I really wanted to um, discuss my music yeah, so I have a course. single we, okay. remember we talked about that mm -hmm. we talked about how I wanted to get a song placed on the soundtrack mm -hmm. that has been official hey so it happened hey. the episode has been mixed already what's yes. your choice? shout out Barry um, for season 2 no what song um, it's the name of the song is Simplicity. Simplicity, okay. yes. By yourself, R R written by myself and a guy named Daniel Breland shout out Daniel Breland yeah okay. Congrats. Out of Atlanta, which episode is that on? Um, that is know? on episode seven, I believe. Okay. Episode seven. So yeah, stay tuned. Be, be sure to watch out for that. How, how, did you have to beg for that, or did you? Nope. Okay. Nope. I sent in all of my music confidently. Okay. With all the with the utmost confidence, and yeah, mm -hmm. made it happen. That's dope. Like one of my That's dope. Congrats. And you know, he's a video vixen for Tink as well. So <laughs> I, I are you guys that. doing music together? Tink, Tink. Um, in the future, in the near future, absolutely. Yeah, you know, our schedules be all over the place, but once we, you know, get get it locked in, hit the studio, we gonna make it happen. I love Tank, man. She's so damn talented. Bro. I love her. Did y'all ever catch a, catch our video that we did, the music video? No, I saw the stills on Instagram. Yeah, I don't want to say dope. stills, but pictures on yeah, Instagram. We went to um, Cancun. Yeah, it was dope. That's amazing. Yeah. Was she at your birthday party? No, 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 no. Okay. She wasn't. I don't think she was in town. But, oh, okay. Uh, but we we stay in touch. We cool. Mm -hmm. So you love? Do you like um, the whole music scene in Chicago right now? Because you guys have some pretty yeah, amazing artists. Yeah, absolutely. In um, I was just in the studio with um, 147 Cowboy last night. Um, Who's like, that? Put me on. Never heard of him. You need to get up on him. Yeah. Okay. He just um just got signed to um, Polo Grounds right under RCA, mm -hmm. and um, he's doing his thing. 147 you know? Cowboy. Yeah, 147 Cowboy. Rapper, R&B singer. Um, rapper. Okay. With a little R&B feel to it. Gotcha. You know, um, him. Uh, Polo G, um, a lot of different artists, but um, on on the R and B tip, 
I feel like I'm going to be the next big thing out of Chicago. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for so sure, for sure. what about the album? Because since you're so busy working on filming mm-hmm. and everything, when are you going to have time, and, and acting and other things, uh, when are you going to have time to work on this album? Well, as far as the album, um, no one really knows who I am musically. No mm-hmm. one, you know, has I, I've never released any music at all, ever. So we want to just drop a single. And just let everybody know this is how I'm coming. You is know what I'm saying? Simplicity the single? No, is Simplicity it... isn't the single. Okay. Um, the name of the single is Don't Get It Twisted. Um, it's a soulful ba- a soulful ballad. Um, you know, puts you in the feel of, you know, Smokey Robinson mixed with Tyrese, all of that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, just just give you that feel. It's a, it's a vibe. And it's a lot of runs and just people will be able to feel me musically. So that way it'll be like, oh, okay, we we're, we're ready for the next one. And once the episode, you know, comes out, we'll just release it around that time. And then just you know just drop singles. Does TV help or hurt? The music it helps. Career? It helps. Yeah, I feel I feel it helps. Mm-hmm. The relationships that I've been able to you know create and yeah it helps. You said Meek is your idol. Yeah, I idolize Meek. Really? You know, I listen to his um, freestyles like still to this day. How long? He's just so inspirational. I got on him probably like 2012, 2013, okay. like right after I graduated high school. And just yeah, he just he inspires. He inspires. He inspires a lot yeah, of he kept he just. He keep your spirits up, like, mm-hmm. you know. He really does. Now he inspires me too. Like, Meek really inspires, and he really works hard. He really pushes himself. So shout out to me. Absolutely, absolutely, yeah, for sure. Word. Well, Barton, Barton, when the shot start, Bar, it's bar it time, by the way. Bar-time. You said it the first time correctly. Bar time. Yes, it's bar time. Bar-time. 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 Bar-